everyone. Welcome to this month's gaming hall. We've had a couple of special events. I've had a birthday. Andy's had a birthday. And we've had some very generous friends and some very lucky circumstances. Some donations. Yes, so we kind of have a lot to share with you. So oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Should I start with the old games or the new games? Uh, let's start with the new games. Okay. Well, bought Diablo 3 for the Switch. This is me buying Diablo for the third time. I love this game because I get to play with my siblings who don't live nearby and um, some other good friends. So I don't play very many multiplayer yeah, games. You got a crew. I got a crew. So. And you played a lot of it. I have. I think it said you played like 20 30 hours on the Switch thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I didn't think it was that much either. Um, also, for my birthday, I got Yoshi's Crafted World. Yep. Which is really cool. Like, everything's like made out of cardboard. It sort of reminds me of like the Nintendo Labo, but in a game, and Yoshi, and Yoshi's Woolly World, and Yoshi's Island all wrapped up in the one. It reminds me of Yoshi's story because it has that cutesy. Yeah, it's really cute. Cutesy Nick Jr. vibe. My favorite part is you get to um, collect these like costumes, which are made out of cardboard. Yeah, Yoshi could just be walking around looking like a train. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, Andy picked up Final Fantasy XII. I got it from my mom for my birthday. Oh yeah, that's right. The think, Zodiac Age. Do you think I like this game? It's not a turn-based RPG. Yeah, then no. But it's an RPG, nonetheless. It's good. I, uh, Maybe I would like it. When it originally came out, I got I played like 120 hours of it, and I played the absolute snot out of that game. So i played about two hours of it since I only had it for a few days now, maybe two or three days. My sister picked up this really cool game for Andy. It's, what is it? Psycho Collection. Psycho Collection Volume, Volume 2. two. Which has a, it's just a bunch of shooters, four shooters from... Um, Look at the Japanese text. From uh, the mid... Early 2000s? Late 90s maybe? Early 2000s? Uh, the only one I'd heard of before seeing was Gunbird 2. I know it came out on the Dreamcast over here. But that collection did not come out over here. It's an import from Japan. Cool, huh? Um, also had to get this pretty immediately after it came out. Mortal Kombat 11. Yep. And you haven't played it. Uh, no. I haven't really played it. And I need to. But... I had to go twice to pick up this game because the first time I waited like 15 minutes for the guy to notice that I was at the counter. And then when he did, I realized that I forgot my wallet. So, a little embarrassing. Um, I got this for my birthday and I can't wait to play more of it. Um, it is three games, well, two right. games, but uh, additional download. Persona 3, Dancing in the Moonlight, Persona 4 was the download. And Persona 5 Dancing and Starlight. And it's like a rhythm game. With Persona music from 3, 4, and 5. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about it is that it's not like the original songs. It's like the remixes of the songs. And I would rather just listen to the originals. I listen to Persona 5 music on the regular. Like it's anything else. I love it. So I personally am missing the original. I got this for Andy's birthday, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Yep, the sequel to Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, I love the cover. It's really colorful. Yes. The whole game is bright and colorful, but it's very different cool. from the original Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, so got the manual and everything inside. Andy loves um, Sega Genesis games with the clamshell boxes. Gotta so have the box. Gotta have the box. Uh, in contrast, you got Toe Jam and Earl. The original Toe Jam and Earl. The original one. The superior to Toe Jam and Earl. Yes. I'm going to go over some little games. I got Mother 3 for the Game Boy Advance. So Repro, because it did not come out over here. Yes. And I haven't had a chance to play it yet. I'm really excited about playing that. And um, we got Turtles 2, Back from the Sewers. Back from the Sewers, that was from, that was from your sister. Um, Victory Run. Victory Run on the Turbo Graphics yes. racing game. Check out this cool little Hue card. Our love, fourth Turbo Graphics game. I love the little Hue cards. I want more Turbo Graphics games. 
We also got uh, WrestleMania 2000 for the Nintendo 64. For donation. Yes, and it seems really heavy. I don't know you why. You say that about every single N64 game you hold. And we got some PS1 games. We got one PS1 game. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, B Bushido Blade. Bushido Blade. It's the fighting game by Square where you one hit can kill your motherfucker real quick. If you get hit the head with a sword, you are dead. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to play that game, and I've played it. And I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to get good at it. And we also got a Sega Dreamcast game. Sega, I mean, Fantasy Star Online. Yes. Would I like this game? Um, no. Well, it's, 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 uh, it's kind of a Diablo-like. I haven't, um, I haven't actually played it because, uh, to get in this game, it requires a, a bit of stuff. Like, you have to enter in some IDs and stuff. And I got, I, I, I figured it out. Like, I didn't even know that about the game. And when I put it in, but I figured it out. I was like, how do I, what's all this information I input? And then I put it all in, named my character and all that stuff, and uh, it wouldn't let me go any further because I didn't have VMU put into the controller so I couldn't play the game. So mm. I'm going to try it again at some point. We got Mortal Kombat Gold. Mortal Kombat Gold, the, uh, the best version of Mortal Kombat 4 from what I read online. Uh, I'm still in the march to get every single Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Tell them about this hot new sticker. I didn't yeah. know about that. Well, they... When they the launch games for the Dreamcast made by Midway had a sound issue um, uh, that the sound would like skip and it was it was it was pretty bad and you couldn't patch games back then so they just re-released all of them and if they had that hot new thing on it it's not a sticker it's on the freaking manual. Well, that's true. It um, looks like a sticker. See? Yes. Uh, it meant that the issue was fixed, so you didn't have to worry about it. Sweet. Um, I want to share this real quick. I'm all excited about it. I got this for my birthday. Check it out. It is a Wonder Swan color. Another freaking handheld. Yes. Um, I had never really seen these. I'm going to show you what it looks like. But as you probably know, I'm really into collecting portables. And this one was only released in Japan and I guess I can't play a whole lot of games on it because I don't know Japanese but um, this one seems to be in English if I remember correctly this uh, game. What the game that you're about to show? Yeah. The, the options that you pick from are in English at the beginning yes. Yeah. I got the game in there that I'm going to show. Gun pay. Oh you didn't show it. This is the box. Yes. They're very tiny boxes. Aren't they cute? So cute. It's like a little puzzle game where you um, connect all the lines together. It's a lot of fun. I like it. You ready for some marathon NES and Super Nintendo games? Yes. So it's going to be intense. Picked up this game earlier today actually. It's called Isolated Warrior. Which I've never even heard of, but it seems pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like a shooter, but... Uh, but 3D. No, it's like in a... In 3D space. No, it's like an isometric view. Sure. And uh, you're a dude, and you're just roaming through the streets, murdering everything. They don't even like people. They're just like blobs and shit. Um, also got uh, Wrath of the Black Mantra. Check Manta. It out. Oh, Manta. And this is the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of game you, you just see everywhere. Uh, I feel like when we just happen to get it today. Comes with the manual. Your ninja. And then it comes with like this little. Talking about other Taito games. Isn't it beautiful? This is also a weird one. Yep, never, never seen this of. game before. Um, it's called Stanley, The Search for Dr. Livingston. Yep. And look at this cover. Look at that man. He looks kind of. Hilarious. Yeah, you're a dude, and you're um, get off a ship, and you just you're trying to find your buddy, Doctor Livingston, and it seems like the you have to get your tools, your uh, the stuff that you need to survive the jungle to get to the temple where Doctor Livingston was at, and you're just moving across this map to get to the get to the temple. It seemed uh, hard from what I played. It was it was a uh, unique. I would say that much. Yeah, look me. 
Let me die. Off road. Super off road. Super off road. Oh yeah. The uh, arcade classic. I think, and I've been wanting it for a while. When you see it for two dollars, you're like, yeah, I'll buy it. Heck yeah. I will say, I feel like we got some good deals. Yeah. We got Tiger Heli. Tiger Heli. It's a shooter, top down, Xevious style. Uh, I mean, that's. That's it. I think it's another Taito game. No, it is. It is. Is it? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's published by Acclaim, but it was uh, made by Taito. It's pretty neat. What's next? Cubert. Cubert! It's uh, another arcade classic. Uh, different vintage than Super Off Road, but yeah, Cubert likes to jump on blocks and curse when he gets hit. Mm hmm. Isn't it great? Then we got the Untouchables. The Untouchables, another donation. Uh, it's it's weird. It's a weird game. It seems like you. It's almost like a light light gun game, but you don't use a light gun. You just control the cursor. Oh yeah. And you shoot dudes in windows and shit. We got tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling. What uh, do you think about that? The best part about that game is when the. The dudes have to run the ropes, they do it with their arms straight up in the air. Like they're fleeing for their lives. Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. And check out this cool thing. We yeah, got an inbox game. Inbox and his game, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Which mm -hmm. I believe it's based on a movie. This box is in great condition, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's here's proof. Got all the stuff with it. Manual. Read before using your NES, letting you know about seizures and stuff. Yeah, practices don't put this thing in water. I love the design. This is so. Um, 1990? Yeah. I so love that's it. That's when the game came out. Look at this. It is so cool. The real power. That's an ad for Nintendo Power. Get the power. Nintendo Power. It's the game. Proof. And it's got like a little um, Virgin so Games product registration. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, got another inbox game called Dragon Spirit. Dragon Spirit. Dragon Spirit is a better game than Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. I'll make that bold claim right now. It's also a shooter. Tell us about it, Andrew. You're a man dragon and you shoot other. Here's the game. Well, I played. I played. Just the first stage where you're shooting down at dinosaurs and shit while meteors are raining down, destroying the world. The manual. This one also came with an ad for Nintendo Power and um, you could a free subscription to the Taito Times, the newsletter that provides valuable information. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Andy got this for his birthday and is super stoked about it. Um, vinyl, on vinyl he got Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The soundtrack. It's one of my favorite soundtracks ever. And, uh, Isn't that cool? It's pretty Isn't awesome. Isn't that really pretty? I love the illustration. Yep, two, uh, two records, four sides. Uh, it's even got some of the, the songs from the uh, Sega Saturn game, which had a few extra songs. Uh, remixes of older Final Fantasy titles. Or uh, older Castlevania songs. So we got a big one. Harvest Moon. Can they even see it from that stack of NES games? Yeah, they can see it. My stack don't show up in the video. Um, so this one, fun story. I got a great deal on it. I think I only paid like 70, 75 bucks for it. Yep. Which is... It goes for like 180. Really good. Um, and I got it from the sketchy eBay listing. And I have verified that it is real, so... Yep, we opened it up. Got lucky. Um, got Batman Forever. Batman Forever. Also a donation. Mm -hmm. From our, uh, our friends Josh and Shelby, which is a lot of these are coming up. Our donations. The game is weird. Weird. Why is it weird? Because it's like, they try to make it like Mortal Kombat, but you're walking through stages with Batman. Like, you can literally do the fucking Mortal Kombat uppercut. What? Yeah. Then we got, um... WWF Raw. Yep. That's what we got. Yep. We, uh, we played a bunch of wrestling games on Kathy Place Classics, uh, a few 
few years ago, I don't know if you remember. I do remember. Yeah, Super WrestleMania. The, the only Super Nintendo game that has Hulk Hogan in it. Um, we got this today. Yep, today Super Ghouls and Ghosts. We got a, I think, a really good deal I mean, on it. I'm pretty much half off. Yeah, the, the f we went to a flea market we don't normally go to because they never have games there. And there yeah. was just happened to be a little shop that sold games mm -hmm. there. And that was the only good game she had, but it was cheap, so we picked it up. Yep, that's right. Got Super Star Wars. Donation. Donation. Game's hard as shit. From Bill, Andy's cousin. Yeah, and he had lots of games he didn't want, so we took them. Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's the one I played the most when I was a kid. That's the one my brother had, and that copy has since disappeared. But we have it again. I think it's our fourth Street Fighter on Super Nintendo. That's uh, amazing. That's the one to get, because that's the one to, where you can play as the bosses. That's Prince Persia. of Persia. Same thing. Donation. Uh, also very hard. And he got this for his birthday. I gave it to him. Super Metroid. Super Metroid. That's, I mean... That was a pretty big black hole in our Super Nintendo collection, and I'm glad it's filled now. Now it's filled. NBA Jam? Tournament Edition. We have the original NBA Jam. This is Tournament, tournament Edition. I played a, I played a, actually a, quite a bit of it. It was a uh, donation from Josh and uh, Shelby and Josh. And we, I played a, a bunch of it that night when we got back home. Because uh, I, I love NBA Jam, and I could not tell you what the differences are, actually. This is the Ren and Snoopy show. Vidiots. 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 Yes. So, uh, th I, a THQ joint. I hate Ren and Snoopy. Closing out strong with Kabooey. Detonation also is a, it is a puzzle game. Like an isometric puzzle game type thing. So that's not, that's not all the games we have. Um, so we, we, we got a bunch of, uh, free stuff mm -hmm. and, um, a bunch of it was sports titles that we don't know too much about. Um, and we spent the greater part of this afternoon just cleaning games and testing games and we haven't tested those out yet, but I'll show you a picture now. And that's all of them. So we also got some uh, duplicates to test out and figure out what to do with those. So what mm -hmm. do you think, Kathy Brown? I think we racked up. That's about a month and a half or a month and some change worth of video games. I think our last gaming hall was April 6th. So this, this will probably go up on the 18th or 19th of May. I feel it overwhelmed. There's a lot of good stuff to play. What Not are you going to play first? Time. If you could well, play one game right now, what would you play? Oh, I know what you would play. You got a game that you didn't say. We usually don't talk about digital games too much here, but we get them all the time. I've picked up some stuff on Steam that I, I won't really go over, but Kathy got uh, Phoenix Wright, the Ace Attorney Trilogy on the 3DS, mm -hmm. and she's been playing that all day. So I know yeah. what she would play right now if I told her you could play. Just go play a game. Yep, that's definitely what I would play. You wouldn't play Vidiots? No. Mm -mm. And I've been kind of feeling earthbound right now, but that's not even a stack. That was last month. That's true. So, what do you think, get around? <sighs> so many games! 